Welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at the Hot Rack from Open Sea Leather. Let's check it out. So I recorded a short video on the unboxing of the Hot Rack here. If you guys missed that, I will put a link down below in my description box. But let me give you a nice close up of the Hot Rack here from Open Sea Leather. And while you guys are checking this out, Let's talk about some of the features. The Hot Rack is a vertical style minimalist wallet that's made from a single piece of full grain Italian Botero vegetable tan leather folded in a way to create two card pockets and a cash strap on the back. And those two card pockets can hold up to six cards. It's available in multiple colors for the leather and the thread. The colors that I have here are whiskey for the leather and blue for the thread. And just like all of Open Sea Leather products, everything is handmade and hand stitched right here in the USA. All right, let's talk dimensions. It comes in at 2.7 inches by 3.4 inches. And according to my weight test, it comes in at 0.8 ounces. That's 22 grams. That's right, when I measured this myself, it came in at just a little bit under what they state on the website. The website says 2.75 by 3.5, but I'm getting exactly 2.7 by 3.4 and that's from here to the highest point here. But either way the hot rack is tiny. I wasn't really expecting this wall to be this small. Just to give you an idea how small this is, in my review of the Top Cider Mini here from Open Sea Leather, I stated that the Top Cider Mini was the smallest leather wallet in my collection and you can see the hot rack is just a little bit shorter but the width is almost exactly the same here but the height is just a little bit smaller and to give you another size comparison this is the open sea leather hubei version one and you can see just how much smaller the hot rack is from the hubei here so you guys already know the drill here with open sea leather italian botero vegetable tan leather one of my favorite leathers here i love this leather for wallets and do i really have to do a smell test yes i do Oh, I love the smell of Botero. And as per usual, when we're talking about open sea leather, the stitching here looks fantastic. All the cuts look super clean, super straight. And I'll give you a look at that burnishing here. Everything looks great. So once again, a very high quality job from open sea leather. I would expect nothing else. And check this out. I have just a little bit of the tannery stamp right there on the inside, so that's awesome. But what I really like about the hot rack here is this is just a single piece of leather that's folded in a way to create these two pockets and this cash strap right here on the back. But when I was ordering the hot rack here, I actually didn't know that it was made from a single piece of leather that was folded and stitched. So when I pulled this out of the bag, I thought it was two pieces of leather. And just to confirm, I had to go to the website and yes, it says right here, a single piece of full grain leather that's folded and stitched. So a very, very nice design by Mike over at Open Sea Leather. The branding is very minimal, just the Open Sea Leather logo right there in the corner on the front of the wallet. So I like that, very minimal branding, nothing else. So very nice. Then you can see a single card pocket right here on the front that can hold up to three cards and then a middle card pocket right there you can see that can hold another three cards for a total of six cards and then on the back here you can see the cash strap that's meant to hold your cash fold it into quarters but if you're not a cash carrier you can still put a card back here and then for this cash strap you can see a fairly large notch cut out right here on the top to easily grab your cash out once it's in there but other than this notch right here on the back there is no other notches or cutouts on the front to push up your cards just based on this design with the folded piece of leather here so let's do a quick card test here so i have three cards i'll put those directly in the middle in that center card pocket right there. And let's try three more cards in this front pocket. And this is a newer wallet, so it's gonna be very tight. And yes, it is very, very tight, but there you go. Total of six cards right there. And you can see how much of your card is hanging out there on the top. So I'm not really sure if a notch or a cutout is needed on the bottom to have access to your cards in the front pocket. So now let's talk about this cash strap on the back. This is an extremely minimal wallet. Even this six cards right here is filling out this wallet very nicely. So putting a bunch of bills back here in this cash strap might not be a thing for you cash carriers, but this is five American dollar bills. I'm gonna fold these bills into quarters. So let's try to stuff these bills in there. And yeah, definitely fit, but it's super tight. But the nature of leather, after you use it for a while, it will stretch out. I've only had this wallet for a few days. I've only carried it for a few days. I only had four cards total in here. And you can see those bills right there, five bills, six cards. 
Um, I would say that's definitely the max in this wallet. But the hot rack isn't trying to hide the fact that this is an extremely minimal wallet. So if you're buying this, you're not gonna be holding much more than this anyways. You're buying this wallet because you're trying to slim down and that's exactly what it will force you to do, slim down the clutter in your pockets. But if you're not a cash carrier and wanna leave the cash at home, yes, you can stick a card back here in this cash strap and it's going to be very, very tight as you can see there, but you can see it is possible to get a card back here. So right now I have seven cards, no cash, but either way you wanna carry this with another card back here or five bills, it can handle it. So basically, if you're trying to slim down and looking for a new leather minimalist wallet, I don't think you can go wrong with the hot rack here from OpenSea Leather. It's super minimal. I thought the Top Sider Mini was the smallest leather wallet in my collection. And this has it beat, not by much, but yeah, it has it beat. It can hold a maximum of six cards, seven if you don't want to carry cash back here. But for something like this, I would only want one card in this front card pocket, which I would use as a quick access card pocket. And if I had to, I would try to stuff more cards back here in the middle, which you totally could. It's just gonna be very, very tight. So there you go, I have six total cards, five in the middle, one in the front. And regarding the quality of this wallet, I've never received a bad wallet from OpenSea Leather. In fact, they are some of the best wallets you can purchase right now, handmade right here in the USA. And the Hubei right here is still one of my favorite wallets to carry. So if you're worried about the quality, just put that to rest. I picked up this hot rack for about 49 bucks. So if you guys are interested, I'll have links down below in my description box. And no, I am not sponsored by OpenSea Leather. I did purchase this with my own money. I just put the links in my description box to make it easier for you guys. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the hot rack from OpenSea Leather? Now, as I mentioned, if you guys are interested in this, I will have links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!